right, I think we're gonna keep that one for last. So let's start off with this one. All right. Oh, we even got a few extras. I see already. We got some Gymnocalicium baldianum uh, monstrosus seeds. That's always nice to have. And this is an Echinopsis crossed with a Scopulocola. This one was a gift from the seller. Oh, this one is already nicely callous over. There you go. Very nice looking plant. Really fuzzy. <laughs> looks actually kind of funny but yeah And there you have it. So this is actually a Lophophora that a good mate of mine, I don't know if he grew that from seed, but he calls it the uh, old papa. And you can clearly see why, because this one has tons and tons of micro pups that are coming out of every area. Now I pretty sure that most of you are gonna think that this was uh, treated with some kind of uh, chemical like BAP or similar but actually this one grows naturally like this it grows grafted like this it grows on own roots like this on own roots it's actually a lot more spectacular to watch the to see the plant but um, yeah uh, this is also not witch's broom as probably some experts are gonna diagnose it as so yeah I'm pretty happy to be able to add this to my collection again and uh, since this one is grafted on a really really thick stock uh, this one should develop nicely over the years so yeah this is the first plant Lophophora cultiva old papa all right and the second box go now would you look at that that is a nice and healthy plant with a super super nice looking root system and there you go so for those who don't know this is um, Lophophora diffusa uh, forma cristata that's why it looks like a brain shaped aneurysm that's growing all over those roots but this is actually a pretty fairly rare occurrence that happens in some plants as you can see it has some really really nice fibrous roots very very healthy so this one I'm simply gonna put into soil not water it for two or three weeks because the season where I live it's slowly creeping to an end uh, maybe it will uh, get a bit of water before before the dormancy uh, but I'm not quite sure about that yet we will see how this one will develop but this one is already a really really nice specimen really pretty and uh, yeah 
stoked to add another yet very beautiful plant to my collection. All right, so finally four days later and we have the last package that should have arrived on Friday, but well, what can you do? And there we go. Nicely wrapped. Let's have a look what we got. Was fairly excited for this one as well. Oh yeah, would you look at this. Damn, that's a nice plant. All right, so what do we have here? This is a Lophophora williamsii, but it has a real bluish epidermis. I've never seen a plant quite like this before, so when I saw it I immediately had to snag that up. Alright, there you go, that was the last package I received, probably the last one before the winter kicks in over in the northern hemisphere as well. But yeah, it's a very nice plant, really happy with it.